Mr. President, the delegation of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea totally rejects the unjustifiable resolution 1718-2006 adopted by the Security Council just now. It is gangster-like for the Security Council to have adopted today a coercive resolution while neglecting the nuclear threat and moves for sanctions and pressure of the United States against the Democrat People's Republic of Korea. This clearly testifies that the Security Council has completely lost its impartiality and still persists in applying double standard in its work. The delegation of the Democrat People's Republic of Korea expresses its disappointment over the fact that the Security Council finds itself incapable of saying even a word of concern to the United States, which threatens the DPRK with nuclear preemptive attack and aggravates tension by reinforcing armed forces and conducting large-scale joint military exercises nearby the Korean Peninsula. As was already declared, the Democrat People's Republic of Korea successfully conducted an underground nuclear test under secure conditions on October 9th as a new measure for bolstering its war deterrent for self-defense. The DPRK's nuclear test was entirely attributable to the United States' nuclear threat, sanctions, and pressure. The DPRK has exerted every possible effort to settle the nuclear issue through dialogue and negotiations, prompted by its sincere desire to, to, to realize the, the, the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The Bush administration, however, responded to the DPRK's patient and sincere effort and magnanimity with a policy of sanctions and blockade. The DPRK was compelled to substantially prove its possession of nukes to protect its sovereignty and the right to existence from the daily increasing danger of war from the United States. Although the TPRK conducted the nuclear test due to the United States, it still remains unchanged in its will to denuclearize the peninsula through dialogue and negotiations. The denuclearization of the entire peninsula was President Kim Il-sung's last instruction and an ultimate goal of the Democrat People's Republic of Korea. The TPRK's nuclear test does not contradict the September 9, 19th joint statement under which it committed itself to dismantle the nuclear weapons and abandon its existing nuclear program. On the contrary, it constitutes a positive measure for its implementation. The DPRK clarified more than once that it would feel no need to possess a, even a single nuke when it is no longer exposed to the United States threat after it has dropped its hostile policy towards the DPRK and confidence has been built between the two countries. The United States has sought to impose collective sanctions upon the DPRK by manipulating the United Nations Security Council to adopt a resolution pressurizing Pyongyang. The Democrat People's Republic of Korea is ready for both dialogue and confrontation. If the United States increase 
pressure upon the Democrat People's Republic of Korea persistently, the DPRK will continue to take physical countermeasures, considering it as a declaration of war.